This is an old water tank. And I collect these all under shoots that come from gutters. And this way, I can collect the water close at hand. Cats and dogs can drink it. And I can then water. I've got some seeds in here of some um, flowers. And so I water from the, from the rainwater tank. So this is one way. Oh look, oven mitt is gonna chase this Marley. They have an antagonistic relationship, does Oven Mitt and Miss Marley. Oven Mitt, are you gonna be nice or not? No, I guess you're just waiting. Anyway, these are very late flowering daffodils that smell absolutely heavenly. They're absolutely delicious. Aren't they puppers? So, and the tulips as well. And that's our rubbish bin shed. So wherever I can, I have these, uh, as it were, rain barrels, but they're recycled because that would have been sent off to the dump. So I'm using it as water. Oh dear. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Leave the cat alone. Stop antagonizing him. You're bold. I planted, this is gonna be beautifully and flowery soon. All these wallflowers that Oven Mitt is rolling around amongst. And then over there are the chickens in what was the dog kennel is now the chicken run because foxes, there's a lot of rural, sorry, urban foxes are trapped in cities and then dumped in the countryside. So the foxes get, can, will come right up in the yard when we as humans are in the yard and steal the chickens. And that happened um, last year and the fox, came and snatched a chicken literally within pitchfork pitch length of us. So sadly the chickens have been confined to barracks since then because there's too many urban foxes. The urban foxes come out during the daytime because the rural ones beat them up and hunt during the morning and evening which is the country fox usual routine for hunting times and the urban ones have to hunt during the day so there's competition so there's too many foxes in the area and a lot of them aren't afraid of humans so here I'm going to give this another dose of water of our rainwater so hopefully now that again is another tank that had holes in it. So um, all we did was put timber on the outside to make it look nice. But that's a water tank in there that had a hole in it. And this is a smaller water tank that had a hole in it as well. So I've used them as planters and just boxed them in with timber. So that's recycling. Uh, that's three recycled water tanks. This is our parking area for visitors. So that's three recycled water tanks and what we've done with them.